We are at the ramen vending machine. Woo! <laughs> That's right. Japan now has premium restaurant quality ramen vending machines. Yes, you can get ramen just like this from a machine like this. Some of them are from actual restaurant from Tokyo, Hokkaido. You can enjoy real authentic ramen from the vending machine. Number one, number two are pretty popular ramen style called tsukemen. So you have a dipping soup, barrio. Barikata means really tough noodle. This one is a rich, super rich pork soy sauce flavor ramen, which is also popular among Japanese people. If you really like something really rich and greasy, <laughs> you might like this. Kyo, this was also from Tokyo from a restaurant called Mai Haraken. Oh, they, yeah, it's also a rich pork flavor ramen. And then they put the smoky chashu. And last one, this is a new product from Hokkaido. Very interesting, dandan dan noodle. So they said no additive is used. It's from Hokkaido. And then why the soup is so black? Because they use a black sesame and it's very nutty and spicy at the same time. It comes with like a, like a frozen soup, frozen noodle and some spice. So all you need is bring it home, boil it and then make your own ramen. I actually want to try this nutty black sesame flavor dandan noodle. Sounds very interesting. How about you, Mr. Eats? Deep style noodle? Yeah. Okay, so it's a 1,000 yen. So if you go to a ramen shop, you have to pay more than 1,000 yen. So I think it's pretty reasonable. Number one. And let's add to cart. Number 11. Wee. Bye. <gasps> oh. That sounds a little violent. Oh, Richard, whoa! Ice cold. Very interesting. I like the packaging too. We don't want to carry it home like this. Here is the extra plastic bag. Let's have a home party. <laughs> we are not done yet. We need a few more things to make a ramen complete. Some seasoned soft boiled eggs, extraordinary bamboo shoots, some extra slices of roast pork chashu and some sliced green onions. Finally, we need to pick up every bowl of ramen's best friend, gyoza dumplings. Inside the package of dipping noodles, you get the interactions, frozen noodles, frozen soup, some Japanese citrus juice, and black chili pepper. In the dandan noodle package, you get noodles, some spices, nuts, and fermented shrimp, and the black sesame soup. So the first thing we have to do is boil some water, then we're gonna heat the soup directly in the back. In the meantime, let's make our gyoza. This frozen gyoza is genius. Each gyoza has oil and water frozen to the bottom, so you can fry it and steam it just by putting it in the pan. Look at them fry. Now let's close the lid so they can steam. After a few minutes, look at this. Japanese love this brown part called Hane, which means wing. It adds a nice crunchy layer to the gyoza. Saku saku ne? Now that our soup is done, we have to add our noodles to the boiling water. I'm starting with the dipping noodle first. They are pretty thick compared to the other one. After draining and rinsing it, we add it to a bowl and it's done. Now we have to get the dipping soup ready. We added the ingredients we bought from the convenience store. Chashu, extraordinary bamboo shoots, soft boiled eggs and green onions. Jajang! Kanse this. Doesn't it look amazing? Now, let's make the dandan noodles. First, we boil the noodles, then drain and rinse. The most important part is to get the noodles as dry as possible using the most powerful Japanese technique. Hisatsu. <laughs> Let's try this tsukemen style noodle, dipping sauce noodle. This is from restaurant called Tsujita. So Tsujita asked us to eat, first of all, as it is. So take the noodle, dip in the sauce. Oh, very fishy! <laughs> wow, I can feel many kinds of like fish flakes. And then after that, this special Japanese citrus juice, sudachi stress juice. And then put it here. We call it ajihen, changing the flavor. 
How has the taste changed? Mmm! It's different! <laughs> Super refreshing. It's two different kind of ramen that I'm, I'm tasting now. And lastly, that's kuroshitsumi, black chili pepper. This, this chili pepper uh, has a history since 1700 AD. Not only they have a long history, but also this is like a, one of the favorite chili pepper for Japanese royal family. So I'm glad that this ramen place really think about, you know, even small tiny seasonings. Let's dip in a stress and black chili pepper. This is good. This black chili pepper actually gives a lot of depth in the flavor. It was fishy in the beginning, then stressy, and then at last, this, this makes this soup so deep, deep flavor. That's pretty nice big chunk of chashu they gave you. Nine. This is like something that we get at a restaurant. It's not something you put together by yourself uh, level. It's really like restaurant flavor. So yeah, I would come back to this place. By the way, big thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. They are giving you a free one month trial and when you join, you support the channel. Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can learn a ton of things anytime, anywhere. If you're a fan of food like me, then you're gonna love cooking like a chef. Five fundamental skills for kitchen success by Alex Gadriel Ainus. Yes, that's right, the Alex! He teaches you how to not only prepare your kitchen like a chef, but to also think and cook like a chef. You can also check out the other amazing classes on animation, lifestyle, productivity, and so much more. Skillshare is the perfect place to explore your passions, level up your skills so you can make career-changing moves, or just become better at what you already do. Skillshare is ad-free and has new premium classes launched every week. And if you're one of the first 1,000 people to use the link below or my special code, you'll get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. You'll also be supporting the channel so much, so join Skillshare today! Dun Dun Noodle! Looks very black and thick. Oh my gosh, why is it so dark? It's very, very nutty, creamy. As they said, they put a black sesame to make it dark. Now I put on my apron so I don't have to worry about messing like my favorite clothes. Wow, so noodle is thinner than the first one. If you like your ramen, nutty not like fishy or not like like a pork rich flavor this is pretty good looking very heavy but it's actually really light the dry shrimp mmm gives a nice umami i would say maybe healthier ramen and not too spicy i think kids can eat it too seven it's tasty but i like yellow <laughs> <laughs> your ramen never be completed without Nice and freaky, juicy, gyoza dumpling, right? Black pepper and garlic. Mmm, so juicy inside. Oh, well, I would definitely get it again. What do you think about this? All these foods are all frozen? Mmm, oh, unbelievable. I was kind of skeptical in the beginning when we were buying from the vending machine. And the frozen ramen, you know. Like, my expectation was, I'm probably like, okay ramen but this quality is so good like you i feel like i'm at the restaurant now you have to cook it you have to it's not that uh simple compared to making instant noodle but this is definitely definitely worth trying when you're visiting japan and sometimes you don't feel like going out go find a vending machine and then get it it's really good by the way i tried nothing but american foods for seven days and i actually found some of my favorite food there so if we want to find out what those are, please go and check this video. Thanks for watching. Okini!